Paul from Sound Devices here with another quick tip on the 8 Series and today it's all about headphone presets and how you can customize these and get to them super quick. So let's have a, a good look here. Um, so you can access up to, well there's a bunch of factory default headphone presets here including stereo, uh, mix, mono mix, etc, etc. And then you've got all these user presets, up to 12 of them. But how can you customize these and how can you program them to be very quickly accessible? So let's come to our headphone preset menu which is in the outputs menu and then at the bottom of that just here, headphone presets. Um, now I'm going to select say headphone preset 4 and this is the one that I want to um, customize. So first of all, I'm going to edit that and choose what um, I want the sources for that headphone preset to be. So in this case, I don't know, randomly I'm going to have the left ear set to three and five pre-fade and then I'm going to go to my headphone right and make four <laughs> and six, let's say post-fade. I'm not quite sure why I'm doing this, but it just shows that you can do this. Um, I could apply a mono and an MS um, decode, uh, encoder on those as well, should I want to. So I've set up my routing for that preset, preset 4, but I want to give it a name now. So I'm just going to call this, uh, let's see, let's call this just for now, 111111. Not a very descriptive name, but nevertheless, it's uh, a name I've given it. So now I can make that a favorite, should I want to. And when you make something a favorite, it is going to be the headphone preset that is activated when you hit the favorite key here. Now, if you don't want your headphone preset list to be fully populated with up to 12 presets, you can actually unlist presets. So for instance, if I don't want preset one in there or preset two or preset three and make my list much shorter, I can actually do that. So now I will have less of a list to scroll through. So I've programmed headphone preset four, I've called it 1111. Let's have a look in the preset list now. Now, here's our factory defaults. Here's the preset I just created, 1111. You can see that the list is a lot shorter and doesn't list all the presets because I unlisted some. So I could reduce this even further. I could even re reduce this to just one preset if I wanted to. Um, if I go to my left stereo now and then flick the favorite switch here, watch the bottom right hand corner, it goes to my favorite, which I set that preset that I just created to. Another way of getting around these presets now that I've created, as I mentioned in another video, is I can hold the headphone encoder and then use a PFL1, PFL2, PFL3, PFL4 to navigate all these presets. So there's really no reason why you can't access any, access any headphone preset very quickly.